No gentleman call us loud, of course. Uh, if two members of staff happen to fall in love and decide to get married, there is nothing one can say. But what I do find a major irritation are those persons who are simply going from post to post looking for romance. For the past 30 years, this has been the world of Stevens the butler. A man cannot call himself well contented until he has done all he can to be of service to his employer. Within the protective walls of Darlington Hall, what happens within this house during the conference could have repercussions on the whole course that Europe is taking. I understand fully. He has led a life of perfect order and total control. You don't like to have pretty girls on the staff, I've noticed. Might it be that our Mr. Stevens fears distraction? Good-looking woman. A first-rate housekeeper is essential in a house like this where great affairs are decided. But as the world outside was changing... The United States does not want war any more than you do. On the other hand, neither would we care for peace at any price. So was the world inside Darlington Hall. You do realize that over the last few years his lordship has been the most important pawn that the Nazis have in this country. It is not my place to be curious about such matters. We have some refugee girls on the staff. You'll have to let them go. They choose. How long can he shut his eyes to what he sees around him? If those girls go, I shall leave this house. I'd be lost without her. How long can he close his heart? Mr. Stevens. Excuse me. I accepted Mr. Ben's proposal of marriage. You have my warmest congratulations. To what he feels inside. Columbia Pictures is proud to present a James Ivory film. It's not scandalous at all. It's just a sentimental old love story. Academy Award winner Anthony Hopkins. Yes. Academy Award winner Emma Thompson. James Fox. Christopher Reeve. The Remains of the Day.